Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at Nostar. In today's video, we are going to write a SQL query to trim leading zeros from a string column using the part index function. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to declare a variable in which we are going to store an, a sample value which we are going to work with. So let's declare a variable called at column and the data type would be vicar or any string data type so let's define it as vicar 100 for our example and then any value because we are talking about trimming the leading zeros let's uh, create a value which has some leading zeros in it so let's say the value is 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. so now we have this uh, example data with which we are going to work now the next step or the approach that we're going to take to trim the leading zeros is going to be first step one, finding the position of the first non-zero character. In this case, this is going to be one. So I need to find the position where the first non-zero character occurs. And then I'm going to trim this string from this position till the end. So the only thing that I'm going to get now is going to be one, two, three. So how we can use the bat index function for this purpose is to find out the position of the first non-zero character. So pat index function is a function in which you can search for a pattern for the first occurrence of a pattern in a string. So here when we say a pattern that means it could be a string of characters that you want to search for and Another advantage of using pat index is that you can also use wildcard characters in pat index. So for our purpose, let's first see how the pat index would work. So let's say, so let's say that I want to find out the position of the number one in the string that we just declared. So if you are going to use the pat index function, we just have to define the expression that we want to find. So we want to find the expression 1. And I want to find it in this string value which we have stored in the variable column. So when you write pat index, there has to be a syntax that needs to be followed. So you cannot just write that constant value of 1 that you want to find. You have to put the, because it's a pattern that we are finding, so you have to enclose it within the person sign. So you have to write whatever you're trying to find. So it is, let's say it is one in our case. Um, let's just execute this and see what is the output. So if we execute this, we will see that it has given us four. So if you go back to the original string, one, two, three, and four, fourth is the position where one occurs. So this is how the pattern index function, function works. Now it can also be a string of characters. So if you write one, two, you want to find out the pattern one, two, where it occurs, it should be giving you four again. So if I execute this, you will get the result as 4. So that is the fourth position where this particular string occurs. It always finds the first occurrence of the pattern in the string. So this is how basically the pat index function will work. Now for our example, what we need to do is find out the occurrence of the first non-zero character. So for that, we are going to use some um, of the wildcards that we learned in the re uh, regular expression tutorial. So what we learned over there is, so I'm going to use the person, uh, I'm going to leave the person here. Now to find a non-zero character, what we can use is we can use the caret sign. So that is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use caret not equal to zero. Okay, so I'm going to say that find me the first non-zero character. The non-zero character is represented by this particular thing that I have written over here, which is caret zero. So not equal to zero. So now if I execute this, again, I would be getting the result as four because that is a position of the non-zero character. Now let's say there was some alphabet in this, in this string, let's say A. Okay, and there were more zeros in here. So now I've changed the string and it should still be able to give me the correct result. So it says six now. So if you go and count one, two, three, four, five, and six, six is the position where the character A occurs. So this is the result that we are going to get with the pat index function. Now, 
what we have to do in step two is that once we have got the position of the non-zero character, I want to trim or I want to extract the string from that position. Okay, so I now want to extract the string starting from this position of the non-zero character. So to do that, I'm going to use the substring function. So this is substring. So substring on at column. Okay, starting from the non-zero character till the end. Now to define till the end, you can do a um, you can do a length of the whole string, okay, and subtract this position and get the remaining string. But since, I mean, it is not going to matter. So if you just do a length of add column, so length at, of add column would be uh, whatever characters are here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine characters. So basically, what we are saying here now is that extract the substring starting from the sixth character and extract nine characters after that. So you do not have nine characters after that, right? You only have four characters, so it is not really going to matter. So you do not need to complicate this. You can just write length of add column and this will work fine. Okay. So now if we execute this whole thing, you should be getting your result as A123, which is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to uh, find out or we wanted to trim the leading zeros, which is what we have been able to do. Now, this is pretty simple till here, but this approach might not work if your string consists of all zeros. So now let's change the string and add some more zeros to it. So now if I execute the same um, function that we've just defined, what you will see is that I'm not being able to trim all the zeros. I've got some result here, okay? Let's reduce the number of zeros to make it more clear what's happening. So now I have four zeros. I'm going to execute this whole function that we just created. What you would see in the result is that now we have got three zeros. Now, why is this happening is because the pat index function is trying to find a non-zero character. It is not able to find any non-zero character, which means the result of pat index is coming as zero. Okay, so just to check this part, let's take this. Uh, let's just execute the pad index part so select pad index of this column and now let's execute this whole part so what we are getting as a result of the pad index function <clears throat> is a zero because there is no non-zero character when you get a zero and now it is getting replaced in the substring function with a zero. So how the substring function works is, so let's again now, let's do a substring. Let's just put substring. And the substring is on this column starting from the position zero, let's say. And the entire length is four. So, so what it is going to do if you execute this, and I've written this wrong again. Okay. It's going to give you three characters. And why is this happening? Because it starts counting the first character as one. That is the number it gives to the first position one. When you say zero, it tries to go to the left side. Okay. It is trying to go to this side. And where there's a non there is a character that does not occur right so it is actually trying to find a character that does not occur it takes that position as zero if you make it minus one you will get only two zeros okay and that is because it is going further so what it is going is it is trying to find some position that does not occur so it is trying to find a position here which is what it is uh, counting as zero and then there's one more position it is trying to find here which is what it is counting as minus one and then it is trying to extract the four characters from starting from this position so when you extract four characters starting from this position 
it is going to take only two zeros. So that is how the substring function works if you give it a negative index value. In SQL Server, in other uh, databases, it works differently. So it is only for SQL Server where it actually goes to the negative uh, positions where no characters are actually appearing and that's why it kind of trims the uh, right portion of your string. Okay, so this is what happens if you get a negative number or a zero in your um, result of pet index okay let's just leave this it's okay we need to remove this okay so this is what actually will happen if your string consists of all zeros so now let's say the requirement is that if your string consists of all zeros you need to trim all these zeros because we are trimming all the leading zeros so we actually want a blank in the output so to handle that requirement what you can do is uh, just manipulate your query a little bit and in your original string when you're defining the string here you can just add some character okay which is a non-zero character so any character which it could be any kind of character that you want to add which it basically has to be a non-zero character okay so let's say we add a hyphen and now we want to execute this query again okay so then what you're trying to get what you would be able to get would be an empty string uh, now why is that happen what we have done actually we have just when doing the pattern index we have added a hyphen to this original string okay so what it has become in effect is zero 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 and a hyphen okay and now the pattern index is trying to find the position of the first non-zero character which is going to be fifth and then from the fifth position it is trying to extract four characters okay because four is the length of the original string and because there are no characters after the hyphen it is extracting nothing as such okay and that is why it is extracting a blank okay now what you have to note here is it is extracting from the original string okay this is just to get a result and output in the pattern index so you get five as the output of the pattern index because hyphen is your non-zero character goes back to the original string to do a substring there is no fifth position here so what you get in effect is a blank okay because we're still doing the substring only on the original column only while doing the pattern index we are adding this non-zero character okay now if there's actually a non-zero character over here even in that case this will work so you do not need to really change it this will work okay so this is the expression that would still work okay so two is what you have got over here right so you can use this to trim the leading zeros in a string column if it is already um, maybe it's a string column and you're not um, expecting any string values in it you're only expecting numeric values and maybe you can convert it to integer or to a float so that would be an easier way to deal with it but if it is a string column wherein you are expecting mixed data types in terms of there can be numeric values and there can be some uh, alphabetic values as well then you can use the pattern index function to trim these leading zeros so this is how it can be done i hope that the video was useful if you found it useful then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and please do like comment and share on this video we'll talk to you soon again in the next video thanks a lot for watching goodbye